and it's really cute. If you like it, stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to start my face. So, I've got my concealer stick. I'm just going to put it all on the blemishes I have and around the dark areas. my fingers first and then go with my foundation brush because it just really makes it smooth and like it's in my skin. You've got to be careful when doing your eyes because you want to. I just thought I need to do more all the way out here. you got to be careful when doing your eyes because you don't want to pull on the skin so just like kind of start dab. Um, start dabbing it and then Kind of go on to go after with the brush, just carefully. Okay. And next, you know, I never really use it, but for like a date, I think you want that extra, uh, um, uh, extra coverage. So I've got this foundation here by La Cura. Which is just like an act, it's just, I know, I really shouldn't be using it, but it's really good. It's been known, it was in one of my magazines, that's why I actually bought it. Lacura is a um, make for Lidl. I know, was it Aldi? No, for Aldi, which is like a posher version of Lidl, um, pretty much. Um, they do like the best makeup stuff. It's really quite surprising. Like, even the packaging's quite nice. It's not really that bad. Um, I think it really works. I was really surprised when I tried it. Mum was like, oh, why don't you just get what, this? And I was like, oh, I guess, you know. This is in transparent, so it just kind of... You can see how light it is when it goes on, but it, it fades into your skin, so it's fine. I mean, which is good about this, because... When you actually, because even though I have quite, like, I have tan skin, but it's very, like, yellow tones, so I can go for quite light colours and it won't look ridiculously light on me. It just kind of looks natural, so it works out quite well. Um, yeah, as you can see, it just goes on really easily and it does definitely reduce shine, reduce shine? Reduce shine and it's really good coverage i was like literally shocked when i was using it on to the eyes i've so you've already primed it with whatever you like to use to prime i can't really be bothered you know the drill um and then i'm going to use rimmel london uh color mousse eight hours in number five glitz and this is just a really good base i think it just comes out really well so the best thing about this is you only use, one second, you only use the tiniest amount for it, so. And just put it up to the crease. I mean, you can get like the same thing, but this was only five pounds when I bought it. Um, you can get like the same sort of thing with any, uh, cream shadow or just use a goldy kind of eyeshadow so you know I don't have to get exactly the same thing as I'm using. I've got my Coastal Scents uh, 88 palette and I'm going to go in and um, get a black and just on the outer corner and then inwards, so yeah, it looks messy right now, but it's gonna get a lot better. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna get my blending brush. Blending brush by Body Shop, and
Okay, so you should be left with something like that. And then I'm gonna go, it's really easy. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and I'm going to do under right here. I can never remember what this is called, just under your lash line, I guess. Just make it a bit tighter. And then do up here. Now be warned, it can make your eyes look quite small, so. Next, we're gonna get. There we go. Gonna get this little brush here. Go back into my pot. And do the tear duct. Make sure it's all rubbed in. And then the bits that you have left over. You put it in the middle as a highlight, so right there, and then just pat it in. I think that's almost the best thing to do. Pat it on there. On my mascara, and obviously do my lashes uh, curl them. So. Just curl your lashes. These are eyelash curlers by Gosh. Doesn't really matter which eyelash curlers you use though. And then I've got my, you know, like my false lash effect mascara. And finally, to the face, I've got Mary Quant Blush Baby in Sugar Almond. And I've got this brush by Body Shop. And it's kind of got like a bit of glitter to it. And then I'm gonna go like that. Just carefully brush it on. It doesn't have to be really hard strokes, just think it quite light, quite gentle. Like so. And finally we're going to do red lips, so I've got my Diva Lip Gloss by MAC. 